Hi, welcome to another video in my series on centres of mass. Now in the past we've looked at the centre of mass of a series of particles, whether they be in a line or in two dimensions. But in this video what we're going to look at is the centre of mass of a lamina. And by a lamina I mean a shape that has negligible thickness. And if you've got a lamina where the mass is distributed evenly over the area, then it's said to be a uniform lamina. And the centre of mass always lies at the intersection of any lines of symmetry. So for instance, in the case of a rectangle here, the centre of mass would be at the intersection of these two lines of symmetry. Now, you should be familiar with this because if you took a rectangle like a thin piece of card and asked to balance it, you'd most probably balance it then by putting your finger somewhere at the center. Same applies to a circular lamina. If you had a circular disc of card, you'd want to balance it from the center here at the intersection of the two diameters, say. If it was a ring, of card. Well, you certainly couldn't physically balance this at the centre here because this area would be cut away. But nonetheless, there is that theoretical point where you could balance this. This point here then would be the centre of mass. Now in this bottom row here though, these shapes only have one line of symmetry. So if we were to mark them in, all that we can say is that the centre of mass would lie somewhere along these lines. But as to where, well, we're not in a position at the moment anyway to determine where they are. That will take place in later videos. But certainly then, if you've got a symmetrical shape where you've got more than one line of symmetry, then the centre of mass will always be at the intersection of those lines of symmetry. Otherwise, it just lies somewhere along that line of symmetry. Okay?